Shalom. Shalom and welcome. Let me introduce myself. My name is Seminai, and I want to welcome you to this new channel, White Rose Family. Before we get started, there's something that I must read and bring out. It's a warning and a disclaimer. One of the things that's important, my brothers and sisters, is YouTube is changing its terms of service. And just to be on the safe side, I put this disclaimer out here. It reads as follows. The information contained on this channel, this site, are for individuals who believe they are drawn by the Almighty Father, by the Almighty Creator, Yahuwah, to Yahushua Mashiach, as referenced by John 6.44 and John 12.32. The content addresses end time realities of what must and will be done by those who seek to do the will of the Almighty Father in Yahushua's name. End times are here and there are three things to accept that is promised by the Almighty Creator, discipline, vengeance, and wrath. Please be advised. This site is not intended for children under 16 years of age in an effort to minimize liability and risk to those who hear these words. By continuing forward, you agree to hold Seminaria harmless of any influence in or actions that arise as a result of watching, listening, and reviewing the content presented. The views expressed do not reflect the owners or management of this platform and or media website. I say to you, my brothers and sisters, I say again, shalom and welcome. It is important, my brothers and sisters, to understand the dynamics, when it comes to growing in this set apart walk, when it comes to pleasing the most high. And there are some key words to think about as we seek, as we ask questions, as we seek to discern. And those words are belief, see, focus, hear, listen, time, who, what, why, where, how, and when. You see, my brothers and sisters, there's a lot of people who talk about what's going to happen during these end times or their dreams and visions. But how many people are giving thought to what are we supposed to be doing? I've heard some individuals speak of coming out of Babylon, but yet there's not much plans that resemble preparedness when that move come to be. White Rose family will probably be the last label that I use for content that I present before a set apart Awakening Nation. Over the past eight years, I've presented well over 1,370 recordings that are consistent the words I presented are consistent in more ways than many. Now, do I stumble and fall? Sure I do, Yasharal. Let us be mindful. The flesh do war against the spirit. Recently, I believe I was directed to make a transition and begin to do videos, Yasharal. It's time for us to prepare to witness what is expected, what must and will be done. You see, my brothers and sisters, it's like this. Think about it. If we're talking about end times, if we understand that destruction, widespread destruction is coming, famine and pestilence is coming, the mark of the beast is coming, then there are some things that Yahshua must do to ensure its safety or to ensure its strength to face physical death directly in the face. White Rose family will present content, content relative to the realities of what is unfolding before our very eyes. Yashra, we have a lot of work to do. Prepare to witness the proof. Prepare to witness evidence that we will be drawn from the four corners of the earth. My position of belief is this. I believe there is an almighty creator the Almighty Father, who is the beginning and the end. I believe that he manifests his word in the person of Yahushua. 
and the sacrifice and resurrection, I believe, are true. Keep in mind, my brothers and sisters, Yahuwah and Yahushua are one. But many people have a hard time understanding the dynamics of someone so awesome. How can this be? How can a virgin birth be? I'm not here to debate nor argue. These words, these messages are for those who are drawn by the Almighty Father to Yahushua Mashiach as it is written. I believe, my brothers and sisters, we will realize the importance of Hebrews, also known as Abraham, the family of Abraham, and Gentiles, which basically means all other nations, or Goyim, means other nations. I experienced the Almighty Father in my prayer in Yahushua's name, making clear that it is He who clothed the earth, it is He who allowed the diversity of man, whether black and white or any other nationality. These are merely temples that will go back to the dirt as it is written. Yashra, there are those who will take the verse that say we're neither Jew nor Gentile or Hebrew nor Gentile and think we're not supposed to recognize this. But how can Revelation 7 chapter be fulfilled if we cannot identify the chosen children of Yahuwah? And we should not stop there, my brothers and sisters. For salvation is made to both Hebrews and Gentiles, or Abrahim and Goyim. Those who seek to do the will of the Almighty Father are indeed made one by Yahushua, Amashiach, under the banner of Yasharal, one set-apart nation. Now, Revelation 7 chapter speak of 144,000. Prepare to witness that emergence come to be, O Yasharal. Prepare to witness those who are chosen by the Almighty Father to represent the 144,000, 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes that's mentioned in the seventh chapter of Revelation. You see, Dan is not listed, my brothers and sisters. Pay close attention. But also be mindful, in the ninth verse of the seventh chapter, it speaks of a great multitude. You see, everyone will not know the tribe that they're from. But one thing is for sure, the set apart ones, those who seek to do the will of the Almighty Father, those who come to the Father through Yahushua Mashiach, will fall under the banner of a tribe of Yasharal. One banner, Yasharal. Once the 144,000 has fulfilled what is written, have fulfilled what is written, we will be consolidated as one set apart nation under the banner of Yasharal, commonly known as Israel. You see, as we are awakened, there are many Hebrews who are facing an array of emotions. And I say to you, O Yasharal, let not the emotions cause us to stop because underneath this skin, underneath this race, this nationality is a spirit that we do not know exactly what the composition of that spirit is, but it's not black or white. For the scriptures say, when we see Yahushua, we shall see him as he is, we shall be as he is. To understand that, my brothers and sisters, let us not get on race in Hebrews alone and think that that means all other races are irrelevant. This is part of the clothing of our spirits, the diversity in nations. End times are here. Extreme humbling times will put an end to the things that cause us to be fragmented. Oh, Yasharal. I want you to be mindful of an experience that I once had. It was an experience where I was reading in John 6 chapter, verses 10 through 14. Here we see where it was talking about feeding the multitude. But notice, my brothers and sisters, in this chapter, if you read closely, you'll see that after the multitude had eaten, there were fragments. And at the word of Yahushua Mashiach, the fragments were put together and brought together and made whole, 12 baskets full. And I believe, my brothers and sisters, though we know that there is the literal for the scriptures, there is also the spiritual. The spiritual is endless water we can get from the scriptures when they are made alive. In other words, have you ever witnessed 
someone read a passage and get one thing, read it again, get something else, read it again and get something else. There are times when these things join together. That is like a rushing water. That is like a fountain of flowing fresh water, my brothers and sisters. Now, if they conflict and contrast, con con contradict one another, then therein lies a problem that we must be mindful of. Yasharal, end times are here. Over the coming times, over the coming days, I believe just as the Messiah ordered the disciples in the sixth chapter of John to pick up the fragments and they were made whole, he will gather the fragments of truth that have been scattered. Man has taken the scriptures and eaten of it as bread erratically and scattered many truths into pieces. And I believe that the Almighty Father, through his chosen leaders, through those whom he has chosen and tasked with contributing towards bringing unity towards his set apart children, will indeed identify those crumbs. And as the 12 baskets became full in John 6, so will the 12 tribes of Yashara become complete as promised by the Almighty Father. My brothers and sisters, White Rose family, I will present all that have been revealed to me for your examination, for your preparedness, for Yashra's preparedness. I will present details outlining a possible plan for the coming together of Yashra on the Western Hemisphere with some mention of what those that are outside the Western Hemisphere, outside the United States, what they will do, must do. You see, my brothers and sisters, I believe in the final exodus. In this series, this would be the final series of my life, I believe, we will witness the realities of what is about to transpire. We will witness the realities of if we had no belief whatsoever, the scientific realities indicate that mankind is on a collision course to total extinction. Whether it be due to overpopulation or overpolluting the planet. If there was no intervention, if there were no interventions by the Almighty Father, it is my position that man would be extinct within a matter of 25 years, give or take a decade. But in less than 100 years, man, in my perspective, from my viewpoint, from a natural perspective, would be extinct. But I say hallelujah, hallelujah, and praise the Almighty Father, Yahuwah, in Yahushua's name. For he has a plan. He has a plan that has a schedule and it requires things for us to do. Are you ready to witness what some of those things are? Are we ready to witness widespread destruction? Many deaths? Are we prepared to manage our emotions and focus forward? You see, my brothers and sisters, we have some hard decisions ahead of us. So I say to you, come. Come and examine the content as I present the things that are to come and things that are required and things that are necessary. I will present details outlining how black and white, many nationalities who seek to do the will of the Almighty Father will come together in unity. I will speak on the language that must be spoken in order to bind us closer together as one until that perfect lip emerged that is written in Zephaniah. I believe, O Yasharal, O set apart ones, I believe this, that you are my brothers and my sisters. And I believe how we receive what is about to unfold will make a difference. For those who are drawn by the Almighty Father, for those who must fulfill things that are written, discipline comes, and out of discipline we will be refined and perfected to do what is expected of us. Whether it be having the strength to be martyrs for Yahushua's name, 
or whether it be having the strength and fortitude to endure travels from around the world back to the promised land where I believe the focal point will be the true Mount Sinai, currently known as Jabal al Laws, situated in the northwest quadrant of Saudi Arabia. I believe, O Yasharal, to those who do not believe, to those who are undiscerning, unlearning, and are rebellious, they will not be able to understand the dynamics of the discipline of the Almighty Father. To those who have wronged and fought and did evil against the Almighty Father's children, he has promised vengeance and wrath. O Yashara, prepare to witness what is meant by his vengeance and wrath. Prepare to witness the things that will humble man. And I say this, out of all the noise, out of all the different interpretations, all the different practices as it relates to religion or as it relates to belief the hand of the almighty father who is about to go forth in such a powerful way there will be no doubt no doubt that the presence of a living almighty one is among us prepare O yashara prepare to witness all that is written and more come to be on that note i say to you again welcome to white rose family my name is simonia Let's prepare to get busy, O Yasharal, and move into unity. Pray and watch. There will be no compromises. We will find ourselves being refined, fine-tuned to fulfill what is written. Till next time, O Set Apart Nation, be encouraged. The realities of end times are upon us, and we are the generation who will witness some phenomenal things ahead. Until next time, I say to you, Shalom, shalom.